Hello, and welcome to Being a Professional. I'm your host with the most, Tino Mans, and today we have an unreal save percentage. How about that? Never thought I'd see the day, but here we are. Sure, we've only played 12 games. Small sample size, but we take the minor victories. To be fully honest with you, I don't remember who's on our team, so we should go check that out. Oh, that's right, we have Leo Carlson. Nice. And we also have Kirill the Thrill, Marchenko, and Johnny Hockey. Defense is not bad, and obviously in net, your boy, Scott Sterling. I think Elvis is struggling. Yeah, an 888. Don't like to see that. Right now, we are slated to start against the Toronto Maple Leafs, who are 29th in the league with a record of 7-13-2. We currently sit at 13-7-0. Let's go. Toronto did not score on their first shot. In fact, they are up to 12th, and they still haven't scored. I'm not sure if that's maybe just trauma carrying over from the Mighty Ducks, because, yeah, seemed to happen basically every game. It was actually outrageous, now that I think about it. A scoreless first, and a power play for the Leafs to start the second. But we get a shorty on Ilya. Things that you love to see, Exhibit A. Ten minutes to go here in the second before we jump in. We are now out shooting them. I feel like we were being outshot pretty badly after the first, but we must have taken over in the second. All right, one nothing lead, headed into the third. Here we go. Scotty boy in the cage. I'm going to have to turn off tethering again, aren't I? Yeah. Um, I'm not even sure if the video has come out yet, because I have like four or five Via Pros ready to go. And Johnny just got leveled. Radish passes it, save that. And this gives me a safe opportunity to do what I gotta do. But anyway, as I was saying, or trying to say, not sure if the video's come out yet where I originally complained about the tethering system automatically coming back on every time. So... There's going to be a comment most likely calling me dumb and saying, Oh, you just do this, obviously. And I'll be like, well, clearly it wasn't obvious because I couldn't figure it out. Nice pass. Oh, okay. They had two defenders basically playing goalie. That shows you how much faith they have in Samsonov. Not much. A breakaway. You know what this means. This means a flying poke check that works. Woo! Get owned, Patan. Nice try. Coming back, eh? Didn't like the flying poke check. He is soaring out there right now. But you're not going to get one. Mark my words. From going to the replay and getting the thumbnail and whatnot, we've played five minutes of this period so far, but it feels like I've played the whole thing. It is dragging out. Ooh, okay. Let's go, butterfly. I really like the way that I'm playing right now. I cannot lie to you. I truly believe that the change of scenery was needed. Playing in a Ducks uniform. Alright, so anyway, I think we need a change of scenery. I let that one go in. Gotta make the game a little bit dramatic. Come on now. Entertainment 101. Drama. Yeah, but no, on a more serious note. Oh, good job, Ilya. My positioning wasn't great on that shot, but also it was just a good shot. So, hats off to Mr. Radish for burying it. The pressure is substantial right now. But Kraus is able to carry it out. And now he's into our zone. Goes for a pass in the middle, which we really clogged up. Come on, Kyler. Two on one. Maybe not the best attempt. But you know what? It's fine. No, it's fine. Easy save. Hand it over to Nizov, who headmans it. Two Taxier. Could have got leveled there. Clearly just brought that offside. Didn't like my positioning there either, but thankfully I was still able to get enough of it with the blocker. Toronto cranking up the pressure. Did they hit the post there? Did I hear that right? Because if so, I have no idea how they managed to do that. Oh no. We got to do something here, guys. The momentum is heavily in Toronto's favor. Where is it? No, don't hold on to it. Get rid of it. That had no business. None. Shouldn't have even been close. He shot at high blocker. What is going on? I feel like I can't actually save anything. Whole... Yeah, that was just an onslaught. Jeez, finally have a moment to breathe here. And it's short-lived. Get over, okay. Wierenski. Let's reset. 
Risky pass, but it works, so I'll allow it. Someone fight! That was Leo Carlson. Who just got leveled, and we're allowing that? I don't get it. Like, what is with my ability to dodge the puck right now? Uh, yeah, so about that whole change of scenery thing. I think we're due. What is happening right now is nothing short of a joke. How? How does that almost go in? Seriously, though. Well, we're in one now. This time we started the episode with a stinker. So, hopefully we can climb out of it. Do I need to go to the bench? Yes, I do. Skate. Skate! Why are you so slow? No. No, 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 no. Not like this. It literally took me 15 minutes to get to the bench. Oh well, at least I wasn't on. Well, this didn't quite go as planned. Um, big save. And, yeah, just... Oh, okay. Well, get another shot, you won't. We gotta move on. Next game. Big dub. I would like to point out that they had 39 shots. And one of the goals was an empty netter, so I had my guy. You better not say anything about a beach ball, you son of a... The fourth placed LA Kings. Will this be one we jump into, or will we sim pass the entire thing? Let's find out what the score is going into the third. That's a good way to start. Kent Johnson. Barry's one just after the power play expired, clearly. Stuart Skinner is now a king. Quinton Byfield buries one on the ninth shot for LA, tying it up. And will that be the result after one? One one after one? How poetic. They are piling on shots right now and we can't seem to get one. There we go. Finally broke the ice about eight minutes in. And now they can't get a shot. All right, no penalties. Very uneventful second period until Johnny Hockey shows up. Two one. Yeah, we're jumping into this one for sure. I also have a challenge from the coach to allow a maximum of two goals in this game. So, if we can prevent them from scoring entirely in this third, ideal. But also, if they do get one, we could still pull it off because they'd be at two. Oh my word, my positioning was horrendous there. Thankfully, I recovered on time. Yeah, let's go! Leo with a shot that somehow eventually find its way in the net. Also a great keep in by whoever was at the point. So all around, yeah, right there at the blue line. And boom, Stuart Skinner got finessed by Kaliev. Thank you. It's not just me. Other teams do it as well. That makes me feel a lot better. Oh no, oh no. Chikrin. Horrible positioning once again. So if you ever want to learn how to play goalie in this game, just watch these and do the exact opposite. You should be golden. Clark goes for the most pathetic shot I've ever seen that somehow almost works. No! Oh my word! If that went in... I thought that was in. The pressure is on. They're gonna score here. I feel like they almost have to. Brother. I press triangle and Scotty boy did nada. Not one thing. What a hit. I totally forgot about the prediction system again. Seriously. <laughs> How do I keep doing this? Great effort. Keep it going. I feel like our guy didn't want the puck there. Skated away from it, basically. LA is hungry. They want one real bad here. No, I'm not leaving the post. Get real. You know what? That was actually smart. I probably would have left the post on an ordinary day, but this time I decided to stick it out. And I don't know why, but it worked. They almost own gold again. Sharp angle shot saved by Scott. And now we will have a face off. Still 2-1 here. We got this. 100%. Oh wait, no, it's 3-1. I forgot about the own goal. Sorry, my microphone is literally in the way of the scoreboard. So every time I want to see it, I kind of have to do that. Uh, very inconvenient. But it is the spot that I have found to have the best quality. And it's also not going to have all of the popping going on with the P's and the B's. Oh, we're headed to the power play. Splendid. Let's see what you got, Calais. Well, that was interesting. Here we go. Shorthanded goal incoming. 
What are they going to do? Go back to the point. That will be a low shot saved. I was really backed up into my net there. Not a good thing to do. A tripping call against Columbus. This could allow LA to get back in the game. But no. Absolutely not. We're killing this. Right now. I mean, I guess we kind of have to right now. It's not like we... Can we actually, like, defer the penalty? Can you give it to us in, like, 30 seconds? Slap shot right in the mitt. Now, please send it down the ice. Why? Why? We've already killed half of it. They've had a couple chances, but nothing too extreme. And we might get a couple more looks right now. Dubois goes for a shot through the crowd. I still feel like the goalie slides too far sometimes without me actually doing that, you know? Like, I feel like I just kind of tap it, and the goalie sends it. Just under four minutes to go now. And it's looking good. Great defensive play by Marchenko. Getting the twig on the ice and breaking up the pass. Not a great shot from Johnny Hockey. Gonna be real there. I could have tried to, like, pump his tires and been like, oh, you know, like, bounce or something. I don't think so. I think it was just a horrible shot. Well, that was something. Empty net. Gonna have some real pressure here. But so far, we have proven that we are up to the challenge. Why? Why are you trying to snipe an empty net? Just pass it in. It really is that easy. Unbelievable. Could have sealed the deal. And now... I was pressing it. Did nothing. Is there like a big delay after... No, I can do it there. I don't know. I don't get it, but now, 18 seconds, come on, don't do me dirty like this, just get an empty netter, Yamamoto almost got completely ran over again, but somehow that hit was less impactful than it looked like it was going to be, no, 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 yes, no, yes, <laughs> what a roller coaster, 35 shots too, you know, Boy Scott. Woo! Huge win. Boys are fired up. Oh, thank you, coach. That would be a promised success. I know. I know. Yeah, it just, no, stop. You're doing too much here. Come on. So now the question is Do I just play this game or should we sim a bunch? Because I'm going to be simming a bunch regardless, obviously. If we did the whole season, this series would drag out forever and yeah, I just lose entertainment value. Real quick. I'll probably sim up to about the 40 game mark and let's go Kyler. Big goal on either our first or second shot of the game. Jari. Hate that for you, but love that for us. And Evander Kane ties it up. It is 1-1. Heading into the second period of play. We're out shooting them right now, but never mind apparently because they're having a comeback here. Boakvist scores. On Jari to give Columbus a 2-1 lead. Alright, it's another close game, so let's jump in again. Here we go. Game number three. And the final one of the video. And we had a nice bounce back last game. Which was required. Because our first game was... Well, it, the simulation was good. But then after that, it just all went downhill. Like, real fast. Why does this arena seem different? Is there supposed to be a big LED thing on the ice like that? Get destroyed! Try that on me. What a noob. Connor Sheary goes down low to Steven. Um, what am I doing? That was so stupid. They're going to score here now, and I 100% deserve to be scored on. Still passes it out. Wow. I have no idea. Absolutely no idea how that didn't come back to bite us. Another save. Going out again. Zach Wierenski. The defense would probably like, please smother it. Stop sending it out. Another mitten stop. Whoa! <laughs> what a bullet. And we do nothing with it. Shiri, incredible forecheck. No. No. Didn't go in. Now a battle in the corner ensues. Shiri almost had it. But thankfully, it is now in the possession of Columbus. Whoa! See, what am I doing? That slide should not be a thing. Slid across half the earth. You need a plane ticket to slide that far. Alright, let's um maybe get this pressure off. It'd be cool. 
steered aside. And Leo Carlson with a textbook breakout pass to Marchenko. The rest wasn't so textbook, but at least it started that way. It had good intentions. Really thought we were about to score there. Thought he was going far side snipe. But no. I guess his stick hit something on the follow through or maybe the puck was deflected. I'm not sure. But either way, it did not go how I was envisioning it. All right. Both teams are playing well defensively right now. And this game is kind of a goaltender's duel. Not so much there. That was a pretty easy save. So, you know, give me a bit of a challenge maybe. Or don't. Yes, let's go. Goaltending is on point right now. Can't wait to get scored on by the dumbest thing. Nice tip. Bajari was all over it. Kicked it away. And here's Eklund. Ooh, that was through a screen. Still managed to block it. And now the Columbus Blue Jackets headed right back the other way. Still a 2-1 game here. It's not like this game is super important. Not a divisional team. And San Jose was like, what, 10-10? They weren't doing that great. Something similar. They do get a power play, though, which is a little bit scary. Captain Johnny. Tisk tisk. Can't be doing that. That is called luck. And you know what? You need a little bit of it sometimes. Saved our game. But to be fair, it would have been tied. We wouldn't have been losing, but... Still have the lead because of that post. That was tipped. And we still got it into the corner. Johnny Goudreau is back on the ice. It is even strength. They're going to pull their goalie soon, and we are going to whistle one over the net. Field goal. Whoa! Teed him up, and they pulled their goalie. 20 seconds. 20 seconds, Bokefist! Don't do that! Don't skate back with it! Get it over that blue line immediately. That is your one and only task. Oh my... Well, we won. Definitely had some luck involved there. Yes! Woo! 36 shots for San Jose. San Josie. And it is simulation time with a 925 save percentage. Let's go up to the 41 game mark. So right now we are at 23 games. I'll just sim this whole month and we will go from there. Hopefully it's a good month. And hopefully there's not too many meetings. What? What do you want from me? I love how the microphone just says news on it. You're playing New Jersey. I don't... I don't care. Do I look nervous, Jabroni? Stone is back at it again. You're facing the Flyers and they have Mitchell Marner. I don't care. I love that I'm having options to avoid promise right now, though. So, thank you for that. And now a conversation with Johnny. What's going on, Jonathan? Uh, the museum. Yeah, I'd love to do that with you. That'd be so cool. Diplomatic. That's a smart call. You know what? That is a smart call. You're right. I don't know what I said. But it was probably a smart call. We are on a rip right now. It's like six or seven games in a row that we won. Another win against Detroit, but Boston takes us down big time. This is our first time playing the Ducks since we got traded, really? Well, I'm gonna fit in. Still not gonna make a promise because that means I have to talk to you more than I would like to. And we get dusted. It's usually how it goes. But you can't make this up. Our 42nd game is also against the Ducks. We better be in. We are. All right. So we will get to take on our former team to start the next video and likely go past the trade deadline. Currently, we are third in the division with 50 points, 25, 16, and oh, not a single overtime loss. I wonder if we're the only team in the league that does not have an overtime loss right now. Seventh, which is good, but I'm more curious about this stat. Winnipeg had one, and so does St. Louis. But yeah, we're the only team that hasn't lost an overtime game yet. Leo Carlson playing outstanding. Johnny Goudreau, very good. Marchenko, you're trying. Scotty Boy has a record of 18-10-0 with a shutout. 920 save percentage. Good stats. In the entire league, it is Devin Levi leading with 27. Holy smokes, and he has a 906 save percentage. He's played every single game. That's nuts. McAvoy and Owen Power 
currently tied for most defensive points. Braden Point leads offense right now with 53. And in terms of the Rocket Richard race, we have, wow. Okay, so this is gonna be intense. Well, thank you for watching. Appreciate you. If you could drop a thumbs up, that would be fire. And if you wanna subscribe, that'd be even more fire. Just saying. I think I have that exact coat hanger in the back there. Anyways, on that note, we will start the next video against our former team, the Ducks, which I guess they're 1-0 against us right now. So hopefully we get some revenge. I'll see you then.